y'all. This is the Roll It Up here with a Blunt Talk episode. What the? It's been a while, my friends. It's been a while since my last Blunt Talk episode. And I'm going to be getting back into the mix with creating some more Blunt Talk videos and Blunt Talk episodes for y'all. And in today's video, we're going to talk really quickly. It's going to be a short one. Just about Bronny James, King James, LeBron James, his son, who was caught accidentally or maybe he intentionally did it but just shared it with the wrong people i mean i think well we're gonna get into it basically Bronny james lebron james's son was smoking weed bum, bum, bum. this is like i'm about to roll up another blunt this is this is done um this little guy looks like a roach now shit excuse my language but y'all y'all need to uh understand that this weed thing this is life and you know sometimes people don't want to uh put their shit put their ish out there and you know i'm kind of part 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 of the reason y'all never see my full face and whatnot is because i you know i have i have you know one of my businesses i want to just I, I guess it really comes down to the appearance that some of my potential prospective clients um, and even current customers, I guess, uh, clients and customers, um, you know, have of me. And and knowing that I am a cannabis consumer, that I smoke weed, the ganja, pot, marijuana, Mary Jane, knowing that I consume this beautiful plant um, might turn off some of them. And I know some people are like, well, you shouldn't care about them. Well, it's like, eh, I mean, I don't, but I do because it does allow me to live the life that I live and pay my bills and survive and eat and chill and relax and smoke. So, so I do care. It's someone like Bronny would care because, I mean, one, he's not 21. So that alone is enough of a reason why he should care. You know, you want to you know have an appearance of a responsible young young man and 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 do you know go by the laws and not smoke because you're not allowed to legally <laughs> um i mean if he was i don't know how old he is if he was 18 maybe i would say i mean if he is 18 or older, maybe i'd say well eh, people could argue that cannabis should be available for anyone 18 and older um, so that, that isn't, but technically the law is what it is. And in California, you have to be 21 or older. Ronnie James ain't 21. But aside from that, obviously the, the most obvious thing is his father, King James, LeBron James. And so wanting to, you know, keep a positive image of the family is uh, critical. And I'm sure, I'm sure it's something he values and cares about as well. And, you know, isn't a little rebel and stuff and he's enjoying life though as you can see and that's why it's not a big deal to me because he doesn't do he's not like a weed head like he, he, he definitely don't smoke as much as i used to smoke when i was his age um and not to say like i was a mess up or you know i was an i was an athlete i did well in school and you know and this that and the other and so others would argue well if you didn't smoke you would have done even better Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I would have been more stressed out and I would have freaking freaked out and <laughs> wouldn't have even lasted, made it to college or anything. Who knows, you know? Um, so I don't know. I personally look at this video and I think it's just Bronny James smoking a little weed, enjoying himself. I think he accidentally shared it on his Instagram story, I think is what happened, but I think he meant to send it I think he was probably intending on sending it to a few people or something like that um, or friends, you know, some of his crew. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he was just accident. I mean, yeah, because he obviously was recording it. So, I mean, you can see his story thing right there and his name. So, yeah, I mean, he was lit probably and high and I didn't realize what he was doing. Um, so that's tough. I, like I said, don't think it's really a big deal. I mean, He's a good athlete. To my knowledge, he's a solid student. And, you know, he's 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 on the right path. So him him doing this to me is an indication that, okay, we're just fine. We're just seeing more of 
who he has already been because it's not a highly the chances of this being the first time he's is no 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 we know this ain't the first time and look at the way he, he holding that and hitting it like he knows what he's doing so um to me it's an indication that hey we're just seeing more of the truth and nothing and, and it is what it is he's been like if he's been on a good path trajectory and everything been doing everything right this whole time and all of a sudden you see oh he smokes we, it's like okay now, maybe obviously he shouldn't be smoking because he's not legally of age. But like the point is, he's still doing well. He's still a good kid. And I ain't going to hold anything of the sort against him or King James, because um, I know a lot of people, I'm sure the media is going to start trying to use this. And, you know, there'll be the LeBron haters and they're going to bring up, oh, you're his son smokes weed. and da, da, da. And, I mean, he's going to end up going to a good college and doing well and doing fine in life and this i'll call it a slip up just for the sake of again the image that it you know how people how some people will use it to hold it against king james and and their family and whatnot but to me it's like nah we're good this ain't really an issue and i thought it was worthy of getting back into my blunt talk episodes that's how much of a non-issue this is to me um you know, it's just, it just comes down to, again, people trying to use this and they're going to hold it against King James and say, oh, he's a horrible father, this, that, and the other. But he hasn't been in trouble. He's been a, he's, King James has been a good role model, you know, good teammate, good player, um, and just good, a good representation of the, you know, of, of the, the black male. And not to say he's been perfect. You know, there's certainly many things that people will throw at me and probably respond and say, what? What about when he did? Da, da, da. Of course, he's not perfect. No one is. But it ain't it ain't. Um, he's not in a problematic situation. You know, any kind of negative representation of, you know, black men and, and, and the black race and whatnot. And to me, that's important, you know. Um, so thought I'd make this quick little blunt talk episode on this. Wanted to see what you guys think. Is Bronny James, uh, you know, was he lit? Was it the first time he smoked? Was, or was he just really lit and accidentally did that? Um, do you think it's a big deal? Not a big deal? Um, what do you think? Would there be any repercussions? How is he going to get punished? Would love to hear what you guys think. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you guys. And I'm going to get back into the mix of making some more Blunt Talk episodes. So, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up. It does help me. It does help the YouTube algorithm. And, um, you know, like I said, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Then y'all will stay up to date on all of my newest, latest Blunt Talk episodes that I release. All right, y'all. I'm going to check you in the next video. Peace. As I finish my roach, pull up another blunt. Yeah. Mr. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it up. Mr. Roll it up, Mr. Roll it up. I wake up in the morning and I sip my teacup. I sit down at the table and I break my weed up. Yeah. I roll up a blunt and then I kick my feet up. Okay. Go to mass can rev so I can read up on that green stuff. The weed puff, the only thing.